right, hello everybody. Welcome back and thanks for following along. In this video, we are going to do a quick walk around on the dual brushless fan kit that I purchased from wizardcooling.com. So let's take a look at some of the components. Uh, you know, what you're looking at is, you know, one of the brushless fans. This is a SPAL OEM brushless fan. It's 11 inches in diameter. And you can see this is uh, the pre-cut or laser cut face of the fan shroud. And the other interesting thing is this is a drop-in fan. So uh, this is actually where the face of the radiator will be. And then it pulls the air, you know, through the back of the shroud. So it's sort of a neat setup, but there are a number of reasons why I purchased this. I mean, number one, I needed to build a custom shroud anyway, so it's sort of nice that Wizard Cooling provides these parts. You know, they provide the pre-cut face, so I don't have to deal with that, and then they provide the side panels. So essentially, I'll just cut this up to the right dimensions, attach the side panels with a couple rivets, and then I'll send it to the welder and they'll weld it up. So that's, uh, you know, that's really the process there. Uh, but a couple reasons why I purchased this kit. I mean, these are, you know, the brushless spa fans are really the highest performing fans you can buy. And because they're variable speed, uh, they can run at a lower RPM and, and they're quieter than the high performing, the high performance fans that you would buy on, on a website like Summit Racing. You know, they have these paddle fans that are high amperage uh, they don't move as much air as these, and they're also relatively noisy. And the other thing is they're, you know, without a fan shroud, and, and those fans fit flush, you know, on the shroud or on the radiator, uh, those fans are a good half to three quarters of an inch taller. So from a packaging standpoint, uh, this is an ideal solution. From an airflow standpoint, th this is the highest performing solution you can get given the size of the fans and also from a from a noise standpoint because these are variable speed uh, these will be quieter than the high performance fans that you would that you could buy uh, but they're either on or they're off and when they're on they're relatively noisy uh, i also chose the optional wiring kit that comes with the fan so they give you the plugs and the wiring harness to uh you know to connect to the fans and then they give you a, a wiring harness that bundles the two together and distributes the 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 PWM or the brushless uh, electrical signal that that speeds up the fan and you basically choose you know what temperature range you want your fan to run and you could use this I'll probably run these fans off of the uh, the car's ECU so I may not want using that uh, the other thing too is they, they give you a, a, another set of wires so you can actually add a manual override and just turn, you know, turn the fans on full blast if for some reason you need to do that. Okay, so that's about a wrap. I mean, it, it looks like a nice kit. In the next video, you'll see the mock-up of the pan shroud that I've already made. And then we'll uh, start to cut this up and, and make the final fan shroud out of these components. All right, thanks for following along. Take care.